Hmm. So many people here. This must be the park. Yeah, he just grabbed the park. He's here. Ooh! Let's get dancing! Here we go. Dun, dun, dun. Hello everybody, sing a song, let's dance along and freak out together! Why were you hitting me? Come on! Be careful with your elbows, dude! And who are you? Who are you? You impress me a lot. You are coarse. He's looking directly at us. Yet, we can't really say if he notices us. No, sir? <laughs> sir? <laughs> Not the first one who calls me that. I am Frank. Or, at least that's who he used to be. Everybody calls me Cars now. So do you want to be called Frank or Cors? Cors is good. My friends from the streets gave me that name, so... I like it better than my old one. Well... <laughs> I don't mean to offend you, but... Come on, is there real friendship on the street? Only in Mirage I used to live in Megalon, and it was dreadful. You have to imagine. All those people are trying to stay alive. If somebody steals from you, they do it to stay alive, not to harm you. It is really tough. Here at least we have Ernest, who, who makes sure we all have at least a little bit of food and shelter. This is so unfair. We all deserve at least to have a safe space. The dignity privacy and safety. It's hard. On the street, your hardest opponent can be your own thoughts. The feelings of not being worth a thing, of being stuck in that situation. Powerless. That's what I mean when I say you have to protect your mind. Did you know that sometimes a smile, a conversation, or any little act of kindness can make our day when at night we lie in the cold, alone again, thinking back about the events of the day, feeling human and knowing somebody cares about you is a huge difference. <sighs> I have no money to give you, I'm very sorry. It's fine, don't worry. I already ate today, so I'm kind of all right. Yeah, I see, I see that from, from the way you still like i don't know i'm ha happy that you still celebrate your life and there is a a little bit of a fun fact because frank of course is based on an actual person that i know um who is homeless uh guys <laughs> guys like i don't understand those people but where the hell is he going are you kicking me yes <laughs> Yeah, whatever. You seem to like like that tree a lot. Like, are you um, what is it called? Fauna, flora? I don't know. Florists? Yes, florists are the plants. Lady, like, okay. I will leave you to your secret ritual that you do such a poor job of hiding. Um, yeah course um yeah as i told you course is actually a real real person and i had a couple of conversations with him trying to help him getting getting a flat and that is something if if you ever have the chance to to help those people um, money is always highly appreciated obviously because money can buy things money can buy food but also money can buy socks Money can buy a cell phone that might be crucial to survive on the street. Um, but there, there is a chance to get out of that, I hope. Um, 
he is currently trying that i'm trying to assist him and what i'm just like i don't i don't wanna i'm elevate myself here or whatever because i'm doing nothing but if any of you know that this is an issue we have to raise awareness of especially since there are several wars in the whole world currently and not only in europe also in other countries are being bombarded people are seeking refuge people are losing their homes but of course also in in the us or in in europe a lot of people are um are just not able to maintain their their housing or their homes not always their fault um and even if it would be their fault who cares like nobody de deserves that so if you could help them if you could listen to them if you could talk to them it will it will help you a lot because you learn a lot of things but of course it will help them even more and if you can spare money then of course you i i always try to try to give them something buy some fresh vegetables yeah. nuts Let's and eat. bottled water this will cost 10 dollars 10 dollars we we don't have money i think case, yeah it's on the house. nobody should nobody be should be hungry that's basically a nice addition to what i just said um and way too many people are hungry in the whole world. And nobody is anybody's superior or inferior. So I'm, I'm sorry. I, I don't want to kill the mood here. And we are going to back to, to party mode soon. But that that is something that really um, lingers on my soul. I think you might you could say. I don't know. Sits on my soul. Whatever. I'm not a native speaker, as you probably noticed. Um, yeah. Help, help people, be nice, be compassionate, and if, if anybody, somebody acts strange or something, you, n you never know what they are dealing with. Um, so always try to be supportive. Never try to get competitive or whatever, because that destroys us as people and it helps the wrong, the wrong type of people are profiting from, from us people getting competitive. But yeah. He looks cool, doesn't he? Otmar Aldershelle for the corpses. Nixon materials. That's, by the way, that's Sebastian and that's my friend Daniel, who have different names. And that's my friend Nikita. Uh, <laughs> so, um, yeah, I I put a lot of my friends as, as players. But look at this. Like, this is the goal. One day we want to be one of them. Like the elite competing against each other. <laughs> just fitting person um, perfectly of me telling you not to be over competitive in everyday life but like apart from sport you you should always go for the harmonic option what's that that's a gym come on let's hit the gym everybody let's go yes yes Yes! Can we, make it 20 we can make it even 50 or 70 or 100. Makazuli has a special workout for absolute champions. It will exhaust the living hell out of you, but trust me, it will turn you into pure steel. I don't know if we should do that. Like, I wish to be turned into pure steel as much as anybody does, but like, are we strong enough? Maybe we should start with the small one and eventually get there. All right. Can you see the difference? <laughs> like glitching a little bit and somebody is playing something. I should have turned those notifications off. But who cares? And it's night in the city. Oh, it's actually one already. So what's here? Hello? We can't work. Yeah, we we just worked out. That's supposed to be fine, though. Let's get back home and look at the city. Everybody is asleep and in their beds now. We are the only person person strolling around, and that's where the big difference kicks in. We have a home to return to. We know where to go. <laughs> he apparently doesn't. 
Ah, look at that. Did, did you see that? <laughs> this should not have happened. <laughs> but I know what happened there. Let me show it to you quickly. Actually, I want to try to jump myself. I don't know. Somebody is blocking his way. He he should have been saved. I think that was Paul and respawned here. That's why all the people who, who fall down respawn here. But somebody was blocking his respawn point, so he couldn't respawn and then he just kept falling. Well, I'm sorry. This is a very good hospital here. There. He, he is going to be fine. It will just take a bit longer until he respawns. It's the St. Mucus Hospital. I mean, with such a great name, what could go wrong in any hospital? Helena Greyburn of the Paltamon Merlins. And this is Jaslyn Campbell's from the Stargazers. I can't wait. I really can't wait. And I will now interrupt the recording because nature is calling me. So, I don't know if this is the end of an episode or whatever. <laughs> Let's get to the dancing fox who is now applauding. Let's get dancing. Everybody, nature's calling me. So I have to go or it's gonna be a disaster. Like really. Really, really, really. Okay, see, see you later. See you in a second. All right, everybody, welcome back to Smash Ball. The dipshit took a big shit. <laughs> there we are again. Dude is clapping for nothing. Like, he seems to like those shuttles a lot. Like, woohoo! <laughs> Who are you cheering for, man? Who are you cheering for? Tell me. Do you want a glimpse on your future? Okay. Red in the tea leaves, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we know that. You told us before. Oh, poor, poor soul. Whatever. Let's hit the I key. There is Cassie. And here. This is where we see our stats when we hit I or... Yeah, we can just basically toggle. And... What is it not working? There we go. And with Q and E, we can see like who likes us. Look, this guy, of course, we talked to him. Life didn't mean it good with this poor guy. I heard he used to work in advertising before he chose the more reputable and honest career path of becoming a male prostitute. <laughs> now he is here, a gnarly, shaky shadow of a man. He doesn't seem to sleep or shower. Phew. If it is already that hard to be around him, how hard must it be to actually be him again? Poor, poor soul. And that is Crotch, the guy, the blue fox we just saw. The blue fox always seems to be one step ahead or two steps behind. Who could tell? Usually depends on the length of the night before. I still have troubles to figure out if he has some true spiritual encounters or if he's just a messed up addict. At least he doesn't threaten anyone. That's true. That is true. Ellie really hates us. Why is... Ah, yeah, I, I remember why. <laughs> Anyways. 